In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your voice from this. All right, so you hear all sorts of background noise. To this. The voice that I already changed. The tool that I used okay. was an old iPhone SE iPhone. headset that was plugged into my old Asus laptop. In the first part, I will walk you through on how to install the free recording and streaming software OBS Studio and a great free noise removal plugin, the rear plug from Reaper, and a free voice changer, G-Form. Then in the second part, I will change my voice to a different pitch. Negative, negative two. First of all, let me download the OBS Studio, go to the OBS website, Simply click the installer, save the execute file to your local drive. Double click and install it. All right, now we need to install the rear plug. From the Reaper website, head straight down to the download section, download the 64-bit version if you're using 64-bit Windows. Save the installer file to your local drive. Double-click the installer and follow the instruction for the installation. Here you can select specific plugins. Just make sure you take River as it's needed for noise removal. Make sure you have the VST plugins folder in your C drive. You can install to whatever directory you want, but do remember to include the river.dll file in your C drive VST plugins folder. Now we need to download the GForm plugin for voice change, simply type GVST and go to their website. Click this link and download the packages. Download the 64 bit version if you have a 64 bit Windows. Once you've downloaded the plugins, Simply extract all and browse the whole plugin folder to look for the gform.dll file. Copy or cut it to the C drive VSD plugins folder. Before we start, we have to set the system volume mixer. Click the system sounds. Here I set the mic to be my default recording device and the speaker to be my default playback device. Go to start, type microphone setup. Click change under the mic access and turn it on. Allow apps to access your mic. The record or stream is now ready to begin. Okay, let me do the sync up first. So this time I can make my um, mic sound a little bit louder. Yeah, because if I put this closer to my mouth, then you notice it's going to clip and you see the microphone this is my 3.5 iPhone microphone 
the level I set it all the way up close to 100 and then the microphone boost I set it to 10 for the playback this is my default speaker um, I just set it to default alright double click it and then you go to level all the way and just untick all the enhancement and sometimes you will have like very soft voice video and audios later on okay so now I'm going to I don't know why but it's just unstable you know because this is the very cheap setup so now I can have a hard enough set audio signal to work with so let me go to the test mic which is the one that I create before so let me just right click it oh, sorry just double click it and then you see it to be the microphone and I just use the device um, timestamps and then here you see two channels right and I just go to the test mic and I go to the advanced audio properties and you see this is my setup actually this is my setup oh, I'm not sure if I yep this, this should be the one oh actually what I, I was looking at the at another one sorry about that so that's um whoops all right, so let me just restart everything. And here you see me the test mic, right? This is the test mic that I just create. And I set it to the mic, my um, iPhone microphone, which is um, sticking to the 3.5 audio jack of my computer, which takes in the microphone and the headphone. All right. And I go to the mic. This is the mic channel, the test mic channel. And then I go to the advanced audio properties. Then you see this mic. This is my setup. The monitoring, I have to monitor it. Otherwise, I won't be able to hear myself. All right. If I click monitor off, then I won't hear myself. Um, what you hear is just uh, my recording computer from, I just record this from another computer. But I don't hear anything from um, my um, laptop. Alright, so I have to monitor that. Um, I have to monitor that, and then I output the tracks to track two. I set it to um, two tracks, which is shown here. Let me go to settings. When you go to the OBS output, so you have to hit the tab recording, and then you see me taking audio track one and two. So that means um, all the recording that I made. Um, from OBS is recording to audio channels okay number one and number two that's what it means for this one track oh let me just turn on my Android okay so now let me change my voice here so if I go to test mic left click this go to filters here let me just remove everything so you hear all sorts of background noise and let me go here the plus sign to add a filter just add um here you see some default filter already so i just go for the noise suppression and then you hear a lot of the background noises have been filtered out already and i still hear some noise right so let me add one more filter Usually, I will add a VSD2 filter. Um, I just call this a rear fur. This is the filter that you download from the um, rear plug. Okay, and let me go to rear fur. This one. And then open plugin. Uh, here you see that there is the waveform, right? If you go to mode, and click subtract then it will block all the um, audio below the line below the red line okay so if I click this one if I click subtract I won't hear myself right now okay uh, actually yeah because this is okay and if I okay so here I'm going to take the automatically create noise profile and then I will stay silent to let the computer detect um, the background so that it can block the noise, okay? Okay, so right now um, it's blocking even more 
background noise. Okay. Now I'm going to change my voice. So add a filter, VST2 plugins, and I'm going to add the G form. Open that. And then usually for my voice, I'm going to lower my pitch by going to negative two. All right, so you already noticed. So you already noticed the difference. And usually I will change the formant accordingly. Negative 1.6. All right, so let's see. Okay. Oh, how come? Let me go back to my filter. All right. So this is the voice that I already changed. You can play around with um, the G form. Um, actually, G form is the VST plugin that you can use in OBS Studio. If you use Pitch Proof, which is the one that I showed you in the previous video, uh, when you close OBS, it will crash. You have to use another way to use the Pitch Proof. Actually, if I want to change to my to a higher pitch of voice, this is the higher pitch of voice, and you change the formant. Yeah, and I'm going to change to this like tiny little little voice. Let me change back to my commercial voice. Negative one point eight and negative negative two. All right, and I sound like sometimes you see. Okay, let me just. Click the oversample. Um, let me close that. Usually, I will add a limiter. All right. Click filters, and then here just add a limiter, just to avoid clipping. So checking one, two, three. So you are watching NBA. So this is. What I have done for this very cheap microphone. Yep, so I hope it helps. Thank you. Bye bye.